And welcome back to the Path of Radiance Unmounted Challenge. So today we are taking on a new map with a lot of guys around here. Um, so this should be quite scary. Now, what my plan is to do is have Ike and Boyd hold off these guys. And we have a new unit here. This is Riz. He is our healer. Um, Riz mostly magic, resistance, luck. His best things. Now, Riz is interesting. He will not promote into a mounted character. Um, he often playthroughs gets benched for a mounted healer or the mages whenever you can promote them. But Riz, he is probably going to end up being our primarily our primary healer through the playthrough. Um, so if you like Riz, look forward to seeing hit that. Right now, he's just here to heal. So we have to be very careful of that guy. And we'll just deselect these guys. We're gonna go ahead and put Ike up here. We can go ahead and equip his iron sword. Boyd will go next to him with the iron axe. Riz wants to stay back. And Oscar, we're gonna go ahead and just unequip. I think he already is unequipped from the last chapter. This chapter we definitely want to make sure he's unequipped. Last time I let him stand in the corner. I think him or Titania re-equipped their weapons. But here we definitely want to have him unequipped because an enemy or two might go for him. Okay. So the next step, let's go ahead. We want Ike and Boyd to essentially form a wall to protect these guys. So I think what I'm going to do is have Boyd go here. Boyd, you're actually going to finish off this guy. Let's see, Ike. Mm, that's actually enough. Really want to get rid of these guys here. That Myrmidon there will probably attack Riz. Who has to go up here and heal Ike. Not that Ike really needs it right now. And as for Oscar, once again he's going to stay unequipped and he can run up this way. So now we can start choking this little point here from the front rather than the back. And Ike's going to one round you. Yeah, like I said in the last episode, our Ike is pretty balanced in his level up. Let's see what he gets this time. Okay, that was a good one, Ike. Glad this Ike's doing well. In my practice run, he never gains strength, so he kind of felt like a Myrmidon. I don't think I mentioned this last time, but Ike's class is basically like a ranger. Oh, he is a ranger here, but it's basically like a hero or a mercenary in Fire Emblem 8-7. You know, like Raven or Deke or something. Okay. Alright. So you're a bit of a problem because you went for Riz. Now we have Tatani here in a normal playthrough, especially on Japanese Maniac mode. This is where most people would be saying, Oh, thank God, here comes Titania. Um, But not here. She's just going to run off and unequip herself. Now Riz took a bit of a hit here, as we expected. I think what we're going to do is just back off into this corner a little bit more. Um, I you want to finish him, please. Good job. Now let's see. I would like Riz to swing around and heal Ike again. Will we need Oscar to block? Probably not. I am just going to run him away. As far as Titania, she really isn't in range of anything right now. We can just safely get her out of range here. So I didn't mention yet why I want to do this particular type of playthrough. So there's a lot of challenge modes of Fire Emblem with modded or hacked games, but not everyone has the capability to do that. Now, now different like hacks, mods, spins you could put on your own game, uh, they're really quite good playthroughs, but you have to remember that not everyone has access to it or the capabilities. I certainly have no clue how to mod my own game. Um, but I wanted to do this because this only requires, well, the game itself. 
and we'll give this to Boyd. It only requires access to the game itself. You don't need to do anything fancy with it. You just need to bench the best units. Uh, someone did leave a comment, not on the the um, video I left, but the page I shared it to, that this is a, a good idea for a playthrough because essentially we're nerfing all of our good units, and anyone can do it. All you need is a game, and you just bench the good units. So it's something... It's a different type of challenge that's very easy access because anyone, like I said, could do it. And I like that, you know, everyone can do this if they really wanted to. And Path of Radiance also is considered one of the easiest games in the series. Some people do consider it easier than Sacred Stones. Um, I don't know if that's true. Uh, it's really debatable. Okay, we've got two moving in. And you both are healed. It is kind of deb debatable whether this game or FE8 are easier. But if you do have a pretty easy time with this game, if you're a more seasoned player and this game's just a cakewalk for you, um, you can try and do any type of challenge mode like this. Let's just take him down with one hit. Of course, Japanese Maniac mode, I've actually never played it. I have seen it. It looks pretty brutal. Uh, maybe one day I'll get to playing it. But for now, I like my English hard mode, and I like implementing my own fun rules. This Ike is something else. I think he's going to get the Regal Sword soon. It's kind of like his personal... Oh, dear. Um... Yeah, we'll give that to Boyd. Another Steel Axe. Let's go ahead and have... Boyd. Okay, uh, we'll keep that. And then Ike. Yeah, our inventory is a little shuffled around here, as you can imagine. Now Boyd's gonna get something dropped. Okay, we're blowing out the other guy. Nice, Boyd. Another crit from him. <laughs> Well, Boyd's certainly happy we're doing this kind of playthrough. Okay, here comes the boss man now. Three. How much does Ike take from you? Eight. It's eleven, and I doubt he'll take that much from you. Six, okay. Let's go ahead and have Ike take on this guy. You know what, I said I would show the animations a little bit, so I might turn them back on just for these two guys here. I know a lot of people don't really like the animations because they are kind of, well, long. But we'll just go ahead and put them back on for now. Oh, where'd they go? Okay. Let's see how Boyd fares against our two axe friends here. Eleven. How much were you doing? You weren't doing... Okay, no. God, a keeper is out of range. Okay. A little bit of a glitch with the animation there. If that keeps happening, I might have to just keep them off the whole playthrough, sadly, but what can you do? I'm sure most people won't mind. Okay, you're both gonna go for Boyd. Ouch. Okay, Boyd really doesn't like you. Now, I'd like to give that kill to you, but... Uh, that's not gonna kill. There we go. I think, does it meant end when we kill him? Because I might have wasted that XP on that other guy for Ike. Okay, that's more like it, Boyd. You kinda got a crappy level up before. Okay, speed- oh, okay. Well, the speed wing actually goes to the second inventory, so we wouldn't have to drop something, thank goodness. Let's see if I... C mm, we could get a little bit more healing in from Riz. The heal stuff in this game has 40 uses, so we have plenty of use on it before we have to get another one. Ah, 
I know if that we get to watch I could kill something. And we should take a look at our turn bonus as well. Now I don't think we did in the minimum amount of turns, but we should have done a lot better than at least last time. Last time was pretty bad on the turn count, as you can imagine. Uh, it was actually a cakewalk, Ike, because you got really good level ups. Okay, a little bit more. But that will do it for this episode, and I hope to see you for Chapter 3.